you spent plenty of time on Coburn today. Um, a lot of those lobs where they're thrown over their head. What, what do you guys have to do better in those situations? Uh, I think we got to, you know, you know, look at how we're regarding that ball screen because it's tough. I mean, uh, I mean, that's, yeah. Uh, he's getting, they're getting downhill and then they're just throwing it up to him. You know, like other teams, a lot of other guys, you know, they don't have a Kofi Corbin or they can throw that up. So we're going to have to probably change something up here because it was not working what we were doing in the game. Jeff Patrikas, do you have a question? Yeah, Nate, if, if you could kind of dissect what you think is not working for this team overall, what do you think needs to change for this team to play better, no matter who you face? Yeah, I think. Um, Northwestern basketball. So oh. they can get another bucket here and a stop. Some audio's coming through. I don't know what that is. All right. Well, I mean, I think we just got to, you know, be more locked in and whatnot, um, play more confident, especially on uh, – Offensive end, we got to be more confident, flowing, moving around, not being robotic. And then on the defensive end, just making sure we're locked in so they're not just getting easy buckets, taking away some of those easy ones they had at the rim. You know, when the ball's getting bounced around and then bang, they got it underneath for a layup. I think they had a couple of those and just in this game alone. George, go ahead. Yeah, Nate. You know, in the second half, you guys obviously were shooting great on a normal day, even without how you shot in the first half, drawing within eight points, seven points, 10 points, but Illinois kept separating. Is there anything you felt like you guys could have done separately or differently, I'm sorry, in that stretch to pull the game close and try to pull out that win in the second? Well, I mean, they were, they just kept going back to that same play, top of the key where they're Kofi setting that ball screen for IL and. I think what we need to do differently is just figure out how to guard that so they're not getting easy lob dunks or him getting downhill foul or a layup or whatnot or kick out threes. So I feel like if we could have stopped, stopped their offensive play there, we would have had a chance to win that game. Raul, go ahead next. Nate, uh, for you guys, it seemed like a lot of the looks on offense where you, you guys were getting uh, were looks you'd get take all day. How, how frustrating is it when the shots just aren't falling and – was that kind of a product of having to play so hard on the defensive end? Yeah, I mean, that's frustrating. I mean, Micah had some great looks from three. I had some great looks from three. Uh, you know, looks you take all day where you're short closing and whatnot, and that's something we were trying to take advantage of. And, you know, coaches, Coach Gard talks about, you know, if you're not hitting your shots, you can't let that affect you on the defensive end. And obviously that's tough to, to, tough to do when your shots aren't falling. To, I mean, it's kind of human nature to get a little down and whatnot. So we just got to fight through that because there's – so much, you know, all of us can do on the other end of floor, other than scoring points or hitting our shots. Josh, go ahead. Nate, outside of the the lob plays, just when Coburn was getting the ball down low in general, I know he's obviously a bigger, heavier guy than some of the other guys you guys go up against down low. What does he do that makes him so hard to guard? And what were you guys sort of looking to do defensively that maybe you just didn't execute on? Oh, he, he's really tough too when he gets in there because – He's so big that you have to cut him off, you know, and he's trying to go middle or whatnot, and then he just spins back on you. And, you know, what, basically once he catches that deep, you're, there's not a whole lot you can do there. Um, just because of how big and good he is down there, he's obviously made a lot of improvements in his game. So, I mean, the main thing is don't let him catch it, but that's easier said than done. Last question for George. Yeah, Nate, you know, Greg, we've heard him in past games saying that your defense has to, you know, determine the outcome of your game and your confidence. Today he was, you know, harping on the shooting. What do you think has been why you guys have been coming up short for shooting the three ball? Uh, I mean, part of it is just confidence. We're all great shooters. We all can make those shots. So, you know, we got to get, get back into our rhythm here. So, um, you know, attacking, getting easy ones, and then stepping out, hitting those threes or getting to the free throw line too can really help, you know, jumpstart your game and get, get your confidence back. So uh, we just got to, you know, whatever it is, find that in ourselves, you know, mentally to come out and be confident because that's probably one of the biggest reasons whether you're hitting shots or not. 